You can run it on a Nintendo DS. You can run it on a, you know, 1991 <laughs> Windows computer. And then the whole thing, he's like, and I wrote most of it in a single file for my phone. And you're just like, what kind of wizard does this? What? It is, It is incredible. Extremely fast open source file server that you can throw up on anything. It is a single Python file. So it is not difficult to get up and running. You don't even need a database. And this thing has a billion features from... Um, one being very quick to navigate through your files. You give it full permissions. It can host files. You might use it in place of something like Google Drive without the syncing functionality or those types of things. Uh, you might throw it up on your NAS. You might throw it up on your server and have a, a full file system access to watch videos, watch audio, be able to even like EQ. It has a full-on music player within it. It gives an RSS feed of all of your files. Oh, and it implements name. all protocols, HTTP, FTP, WebDAV, yes. SMB. Does full thumbnail view, zip downloading, easy uploading. Like I said, share files, battery name, recent uh, media player stuff. You can uh, modify files like text files directly inside of it. So if, if you're on your server, you just want to modify a markdown file or whatever, it, it's quick and easy for that. It, like I said, it, it is like one Python file that you just run from anywhere. You can throw a Cloudflare tunnel on it. Next thing you know, you have your own like cloud uh, file server. Um, there's an endless amount of features in this, and the video is hilarious because he just like goes on like, you can do this, you can do yeah. this, 